Oh, wonderful. Just wonderful. Solve one problem and another one arises. Oh, such is the life of poor, poor Loki. Will his soul never find solace? Shall I never know peace? Hey, Loki! Ah! How did you- Before that, please tell me you didn't break anything by getting in here. Uh, define break. Uh, well, grand. Now I have two problems to deal with. What's troubling you? Well, thanks to some unforeseen circumstances, I now have the unfortunate task of disposing with a deranged and deformed quadruped that decided to make home with my Lizette. You're disposing the what now? Oh, why do I even bother to attempt conversation? There's a dog on my ship! You got a dog? Ooh, I wanna see, I wanna see, I wanna see! No, trust me, you don't. Oh, I think it's coming here now! Aw, oh, look at the little... Dude, you're messed up. I did not ask for this! What in the heck is that thing? It's a Kubra! What else could it be? Dude, look. I know I may not say the most intelligent things every now and again, but that is not a Kubra! Uh, all right, look, it was incubated during a major system malfunction, so I'm assuming it suffered from some... unfortunate genetic mutations. But none of that matters! I don't want it, and it's leaving now! So you're gonna put it up for adoption? What? No, I'm just going to eject it out of the airlock. You can't do that! <laughs> of course I can! In fact, could you do me a favor and join it? I could fix two problems at once here. You can't just eject a puppy out the airlock! That's murder! We're Warframes. We commit genocide every day. Yeah, well this has different context. It's a puppy! It's a crime against science and nature. It's going out of the airlock! Is there any way I can convince you otherwise? You. Convince me? Oh, please, Rhino. Waste my time in a way that you're good at. All right, fine. Go ahead and throw the defenseless creature out the airlock. Oh, whatever shall I do with this limited edition talking Barrow Noggle? What did you say about a Barrow Noggle? <gasps> That's the limited edition talking Barrow Noggle! I have a rare opportunity for you. I missed my chance to get them last time. Where did you get this rhino? That doesn't matter. What does matter is that if you go and find this creature a new home, this noggle is all yours. Uh, once again, Rhino, you vex my very existence. Fine. Let's go find this Mata home. And I'm not doing this for you. I'm doing this for the Noggle. All right, let us begin. Rhino, here, have a dog. I'm not taking that thing. What? You of all people don't want this deranged and demented thing? I find that it suits you. Well, it's not like that. I just... <laughs> I'm allergic to dogs. That is the worst excuse I have ever heard. It's not a... an excuse! I... Stop sneezing all over my Lizette! Look, let's just go to the relay. There's tons of people there who would love a new companion. Good day to you, sir. Tell me, are you in desperate search of companionship? Are you stricken with a hopeless feeling of everlasting loneliness? Look, I appreciate the attempt, but I don't really swing that way. That's not what I meant, you idiot! I was talking about this dog! That's a dog? Yes, it is. Now, do you want it or not? Uh, let me think about it. No. Fine, I hope you die alone. Don't you worry, little friend. I'd be more than happy to give you a good home. Success! Good! Now take it and never bring it within a hundred miles of me. But before that, I'll need to see all of its breeding records. And we'll need to bring it to my home and make sure it gets along with all the other pets. Oh, and I assume it's had all of its shots. Okay, no, too much work. Uh, yeah, no, I'll pass. N. O. No. Ugh, like, get that thing away from me. This specimen is shrouded in mystery. No, no, we are not giving it to Samaris! Clem, Krakata. So, is that a yes or a no? All right, let's try this guy's ship. Hello, sir. We are here today to offer you a Valbum. I thought we were offering a dog. Oh, well, what do you know? It's the comic book slayers. Oh, you're not seriously still dwelling on that, are you? I still haven't gotten over the burial. 
Rest in peace. Nav coordinate Z number 72. <laughs> right. Anyways, we've come with a proposition. I present to you a Kubrow puppy. That's not a Kubrow. Yes, it is. It's just deformed. I think it just meowed. Regardless, you seem to forget who I am. Number one sentinel enthusiast. I have no need for such organic creatures. Sentinels provide the greatest form of support. Auxiliary firepower, aerial support, various features based upon the model. Plus, let's not forget, these little guys don't require the added effort that Kubrows and Kavats require. No feeding or petting necessary. And apparently no compassion either. I thought I was your friend Wapen. Am I not but a tool? Do I exist solely to do your bidding? Ah, uh, as I was saying, sentinels are far superior to your organic companions. Haha, <laughs> I haven't even mentioned yet the fact that... Ah, uh, eh, hello? Hello? Vaupen Commander, does this unit have a soul? Mr. Prime, I'm sorry, but we cannot accept your animal. But why or not? Just think what a valuable asset this creature could be to your force. A powerful canine unit, able to strike fear into criminals with its appearance alone. One, we don't have a canine unit. Two, I'm pretty sure that's not a dog. Of course it is! Just look at its... lack of skin, and nose, and emaciated face. You know, it has a leg growing through its back. Look, can't you just take it to the station or something until someone wants to adopt it? Again, I'm sorry, Mr. Prime, but that is 100% negativo. Find a pal, not a police station. Now do me a favor and get that thing out of here before I give it a ticket for a crime against nature. Oh, Rhino, this is hopeless. No one wants this damned thing. Look, I put forth my best effort. Doesn't that account for something? No home for the dog, no talking barrow. But there's no one else! Wait, there is someone else. Uh, who do you have in mind? Inaros? You're not seriously gonna give this thing to Inaros? I don't see the problem. He's a terrifying monster. So is the dog. I find them a fitting duo. But Loki, it's just that- Hush, Rhino. Now let Loki do the dealing. Oh, Inaros? Inaros, where are you, you horrific thing, you? Why must you always do this? Greetings and tidings, my gilded fellow. To what do I owe this unexpected pleasure? Well, I come bearing an offer. I have for you this dog. I'm quite certain that's not a- Yes, it is! Now, let's cut to the chase. Will you take it or not? Oh, you poor, poor little soul. Abandoned by the harsh reality of a world burdened by superficial desires. The answer you seek is yes, Loki. I will grant shelter to this small creature. Yes! Yes! At long last, victory is mine! Loki, look, can't we- That noggle is as good as mine, Rhino! Now let's get out of here. Being around the two of them is causing my chassis to shiver. Now then, Rhino, your end of the bargain, if you please. Loki, listen! You can't give it to Inaros! Well, why not? He's perfectly capable of taking care of the animal. Loki, Inaros will eat anything! Don't you understand? So the dog will have a strange diet, whatever. The quality of the home wasn't part of the deal. Loki! He's going to eat the dog! So? Dude, you're cold. Ugh, fine. Let's go get it back. Inaros! Put down that unsuspecting meal! Uh, uh, what? Now, my little friend, this next song is called... Strum. Oh. Well, I, uh... Huh. See, Rhino? Perfectly capable. And I'm the pessimistic one. Now give me that noggle! Huh. Well, I guess that ends that. Say, Loki, are you gonna be reviewing anything today? Why, yes, Rhino, I'm going to be talking about the features of the anti-Rhino airlock. Oh, Barrowcateer, treat me again to your wonderful and wise words. Some interesting gear you have, Tenno. I guess minimalism is making a comeback? Oh, Barrow, you're much too wonderful. 